This morning, the Business Roundtable is looking back one year to when it first decided to call for enhanced corporate responsibility. You may remember last August 19th, the BRT overturned a more than two-decade-old policy statement that said a corporation's main purpose was to serve shareholders. Now it includes the key constituencies of customers, employees, suppliers, and communities. Joining us right now to talk about this is Business Roundtable CEO Josh Bolton. Josh, welcome. Uh, good to have you with us today. Good morning, Becky. So let's talk about what's happened, because there has been so much that's happened in the year since this, and especially because of this global pandemic. I, I think businesses have had to react um, in huge ways to kind of address that and make sure that they are reaching out to all their constituencies. Where do you, where do you think we've come over the course of the last year? Um, I, I think it's been an important year. Um, and especially for the statement of corporate purpose that you just mentioned, because um, while a lot of people said to me, oh, uh, the economy's in terrible shape, so I guess the corporate purpose statement goes out the window. And my answer has been, on the contrary, uh, what, the, what this crisis has meant is that um, the overwhelming majority of America's big companies are stepping up in a way that actually underscores the values in that corporate purpose statement. Because like you said, this is, this is a moment when um, the corporations who are able to do that need to support their customers, their employees, their suppliers, and the communities in which they operate, as well as their shareholders. Hey, Josh, I've been thinking about it, and I know you have some very specific examples of, of things where companies have really stepped up to reach out to their community, maybe to their employees. I can think of many of them that from the ones we've talked to, where they're paying their employees more, where they are giving back to the communities and making sure they help support them. Do you think it was right. because of this purpose statement, though, or do you think this is just something, to me, great companies have done this for a very long time? Great companies have, and the uh, and the corporate purpose statement is in many ref respects a reflection of the way that um, good CEOs lead their companies these days. Um, but I think the statement has also made it made it front of mind for a lot of companies and made it comfortable for them to go to their shareholders and say, "Yeah, I'm going to be spending some money, extra money, on my employees uh, for the next six months." Or I'm going to be, uh, you know, foregoing uh, uh, cutting off our electricity customers who can't pay right now. Um, and you can you can say that much more comfortably to your shareholders now. I think because of the values reflected in that statement, and the and the the underlying point there is that no company can be successful in the long run if they don't support all of their stakeholders. So the, the statement is really an affirmation of support for the long-term shareholder over the short-term shareholder.